previously on Swavy Curly Courtney. Let me clarify what I mean by clarify. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're brand new here, hi, my name's Courtney. And here we talk all things wavy curly hair, wavy curly hair science, and the best way to care for your waves and curls and get the absolute healthiest hair of your life. If you start researching hair, you will find out that buildup is an issue. We've all probably seen the videos by now of people using a razor to scrape their hair and, and saying, oh look at all the buildup that's coming off of our hair. Spoiler alert, that's not actually buildup, that's your hair cuticle you're shaving off, but buildup is an actual issue that we deal with, especially if you're styling your hair wavy curly. Why? Because we play around with stylers and put gel in our hair and put curl cream in our hair. And these products tend to contain ingredients that can build up on the hair over time. There's many different forms of buildup from polyquaternium buildup to hard water buildup. And today I am gonna clarify all of the misconceptions that people have about how to properly clarify and deep condition your hair and show you the exact step-by-step -step process that I use when I clarify and deep condition. If you missed last week's video, make sure to check it out. But now let's continue the story with deep conditioning. Let's dive into deep conditioners. You may notice that we're talking about this after the clarifying. That is intentional. There is this trend where people will dirty deep condition, which means they have their day four hair, they've refreshed several times, they've added product to their hair on wash day, maybe a curl cream, maybe a custard, maybe a gel, maybe a mousse. They did all the styling and then on day two, they get their hair slightly wet and they add more mousse to their hair. And then on day three, they refresh again, get their hair damp and add more product to it. And by day four, there is so much buildup on their hair. There is all the products on wash day, all the refresh products on the days in between, not to mention probably some scalp oil happening. For most humans, that's the case. Not all humans, but most humans will have some scalp oil on day four. And then what do they do? They get their hair nice and soaking wet, and then they apply their deep conditioner to their hair. This can actually be a wonderful method of detangling hair, especially if you have a tighter curl pattern, extremely tangle prone hair, super, super coarse hair. Maybe you have incredibly fine hair as well that is just super prone to tangles. It is better to get the tangles out before cleansing, but this is only going to act as a detangling step. You will not necessarily be getting the most benefit out of your deep conditioner this way. Why? Because there's an actual film on your hair blocking your hair from absorbing the nutrients and ingredients from your deep conditioner. If you're using a really nice deep conditioner, in theory, there's really good things in it that are going to soak into your hair and get underneath that hair cuticle and help nourish and moisturize your hair from the inside out. But if there's all the buildup on your hair, it cannot do that. The ingredients in deep conditioner are designed to deeply penetrate and condition the hair. And if there is buildup in the way, that won't happen. This is why I personally choose to deep condition after I clarify. I have tried dirty deep conditioning and I have found that it literally does nothing. I've not only tried it on myself, but I've tried it on a variety of friends and family and found the same effect to be true on multiple different types of hair. You get the great detangling, but the max benefit of the deep conditioner is not realized. In order to get the most out of your deep conditioner, it is best to use it on freshly clarified hair. The benefits of this are twofold. One, when you clarify, you are removing everything from your hair. It's going to need some extra love. This is the perfect time to put the deep conditioner on it. It's going to be kind of sort of dried out a little bit depending on which clarifier you use, especially if you're using a chelating shampoo. Those are very drying. So the best time to deep condition is when your hair is a fresh, clean slate, not on dirty, dirty hair. 
unless all you want your deep conditioner to do is detangle. How many times can I say the same thing over and over? I'm really trying to drive home this point. Let me just start telling you about some really awesome deep conditioners. I'm going to talk about a product that I have never shared on this channel before. It is not for the faint of heart. It is incredibly intense. It is the Pattern Treatment Mask for definition and curl elongation. If you are wanting to try the strongest protein treatment on the market, I've literally never tried a protein treatment stronger than this, this is one to try. Why would you want a protein treatment? Proteins are ingredients in hair care that can help lend structure and in some cases temporarily repair the hair cuticle. So if you have critically damaged hair, if you are finding that your curls are elongating faster than you would like for them to, things are stretching out faster, your hair kind of actually feels kind of damp and weird when it's supposed to be dry, almost like it's gummy, you might need to try a protein treatment to reset things. Fair warning, this is not very conditioning at all. This is reconstructive. It almost looks like a hair gel. I would strongly recommend to clarify your hair, put this on your hair and leave for five to 10 minutes, rinse it out and follow up with a separate deep conditioner. There's not a lot of conditioning ingredients in this. This is kind of like a supplement. This is a protein snack for your hair. It's strong. Please use a deep conditioner after you use this. Yes, it's going to add more work for you on your wash day. This is only meant to help solve and correct issues. If you are needing some protein in your life, here you go. If you are needing a combination of protein and deep conditioning, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. I know everyone talks about this. I know the price tag is a little bit prohibitive. Is it absolutely amazing and incredible? Yes, yes it is. It is worth all the hype it has ever gotten. You could use this as a daily conditioner if you wanted to, but it's also really nice and effective after clarifying. How I like to use it is to grab a little bit on soaking wet hair and start working it through with my fingers. Now. If you have just clarified, your hair's probably gonna be a little bit more tangly. Never fear. This is how I get the tangles out without spending my entire life finger detangling. What I do is I add just a tiny bit more water to the back of my head and it really loosens up the tangles. So you do water, deep conditioner, start detangling, more water, continue detangling, add more deep conditioner, keep detangling and you keep repeating that process over and over. Where I think most people fall short in this process is they don't keep repeating. They get really discouraged that their hair is not getting detangled and they just grab the brush and rip through their tangles or they stop detangling altogether. The main reason we're spending so much time detangling with the deep conditioner is one, it's the most gentle way to get those tangles out Deep conditioners provide tons of slip, so you're really gonna get those knots to glide past each other and come out of the hair without ripping and damaging your hair cuticle. But also, the reason that we do it is that we get a really even distribution of deep conditioner through the hair if we really do take our time with the detangling. For even better distribution, after you're done detangling, then grab a brush and finish brushing this product from your roots to your ends. Did you know that the hair at your roots is still hair and still needs conditioner? I am a fine, oily haired gal. I put conditioner near my roots. Does this look greasy to you? <laughs> I promise it will not make your hair more oily, more greasy, more producty. If you are properly cleansing your hair, you're not gonna have an issue by putting conditioner near your roots. What it will do is it will condition all those tiny baby hairs, all your new growth. If you have past breakage, it will condition all of those short pieces that are up here and give them the best chance to grow out long. They're not gonna stay dry and sad and brittle and never grow out. It really, really, really reduces halo frizz. So those horns that everybody gets from tons of breakage, the crazy halo frizz, please, I am begging you to brush your conditioner 
all the way through your hair, brush your deep conditioners all the way through your hair from root to tip. Once you have the world's smoothest deep conditioner application and it is wildly evenly coated, you're going to grab a plastic shower cap. I personally have one that's been reusable for years. I got it in a We Dad Christmas gift set in like 2019 and this reusable shower cap is still going strong. I'll put this on and then I grab my Thermal Hair Care Hot Head. I have been linking this product in the description of my videos for a very long time. This is the absolute best heat cap I have ever tried. I have tried a bunch and I keep coming back to this one. It has little flax seeds in it and all you do is you chuck it in the microwave and heat it up. I don't perfectly follow the instructions. I will microwave it for one minute, turn it wrong side out, microwave it for another minute, and then put it on my head. When you deep condition with heat, you are accelerating the rate at which your hair is absorbing the deep conditioner. What this means is, is you get the same intensity of deep conditioning if you deep condition with heat for 15 minutes as you would have if you deep conditioned with no heat for an hour. It helps your hair absorb that deep conditioner faster and deeper. If you find that your deep conditioners never soak into your hair, they only ever sit on top and never really get in there and deep condition well, try deep conditioning with heat. It is an absolute game changer. I am someone with fine hair. That means that each of my hair strands has a thinner layer of hair cuticle. In theory, my hair should soak up deep conditioner just fine, whereas coarser hair has more layers of hair cuticle and it is more difficult for coarse hair to fully soak up deep conditioner. I still, as someone with fine hair, find that deep conditioning with heat makes a huge difference. Let me give you just a few more options for deep conditioner depending on what your hair needs. I really like the Briogeo. Equal parts conditioning and protein in this one. It's not super protein-y, but it does have some protein in it. Okay, in the winter, when my hair needs all the hydration, the Curl Smith Double Cream Deep Quencher is so different and so good. It just hits different. It really does deeply, deeply condition, but it does not weigh the hair down. That is a big problem for me with a lot of deep conditioners. Shea Moisture, I'm looking at you. Oftentimes, the really moisturizing deep conditioners make my hair feel heavy for like weeks after I use them. It takes so long to get all of that really heavy deep conditioner off. This is deeply, deeply conditioning without weighing my hair down and it's protein free. As is the Bounce Curl deep conditioner. This is even more hydrating. If you wanna run into a store and grab one, Curl Smith. If you're needing more than that Curl Smith deep conditioner, this over conditioned my hair in one use. It is powerful. I have used it without it over conditioning my hair, but the first time I ever used it, it over conditioned my hair. I don't know why, probably I used too much. It's the story of my life. This is really strong. It is the most hydrating deep conditioner I've ever used. This is what I love to follow up with the pattern mask. Innersense hydrating mask. I love that it's only four ounces. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't deep condition that frequently. Again, once to twice a month, this feels like a reasonable amount of product for how often I deep condition. It is really, 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 really well formulated. It does contain some proteins and it's also deeply, deeply, deeply hydrating. This is concentrated, this is strong. It will last you a very long time without taking up too much space in your cabinet. Most of these contain some protein because I find that using a little bit of protein in your deep conditioners is a good thing. This is the Soothe and Restore Restorative Protein Mask from Trey Lux. I would say that this is mid protein level content. It's very similar to the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. It gives protein and it gives some moisture. It's kind of a medium moisture deep conditioner. If you really struggle with deep conditioners over hydrating your hair, every single deep conditioner you've ever tried makes your hair feel heavy, way too silky, way too soft, just too much. But you also need a treatment for your hair. This is the option I would recommend. 
Drugstore option. I know, I know, I threw some shade at Shea Moisture a little bit earlier in this video. Most of their deep conditioners I can't do. This one I can do. It does claim to be a powerful protein treatment. It's a marketing gimmick. But what this does do is it does really nourish and hydrate the hair without weighing it down. I like the formulation of this one quite a bit. It's very, very nice. It does contain an ingredient that is specifically very good for highlighted hair that helps highlighted hair kind of recover from the highlights. And, and it smells really good. It's a very fresh floral scent, which I can appreciate. I have very fond memories of this product. It really did help my hair quite a bit when I was going through that transition phase, when my hair was really, really damaged. And I wouldn't feel right about talking about deep conditioners if I didn't talk about this one. This is the Jesse Curl Deep Conditioning Treatment. You can get this in a fragrance-free option, which I find really helpful on certain days when I'm feeling extra allergic and struggling with fragrance. If I have a fragrance-free option in my cabinet that I know is gonna be deeply hydrating, sometimes this is just what I go for. This is one of those deep conditioners that incredibly deeply hydrates without weighing the hair down. It's cost effective, it's not terribly expensive. It's one of those products that I have two of in my cabinet at all times because I'm afraid I'm going to run out. I love this product, I have loved this product for over five years. This was one of the other products that I used a lot during that transition phase that really helped get me through. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I sure hope that this gave you a little bit more insight into what I mean when I'm talking about a clarify and deep condition session. Nine times out of 10, I will air dry product free after clarifying and deep conditioning because it really allows me to assess my hair and feel what my hair needs moving forward afterwards. And to be honest, I'm slightly lazy, which is why I don't normally style my hair after clarifying a deep conditioning. If I've taken the time and energy to let deep conditioner sit on my head for anywhere to 15 to 30 minutes, and I'm microwaving my heat cap, all the stuff and things, that's all, that's all the bandwidth I have for hair that day. And I'm going to air dry product free afterwards and take the, take the moment to use it to assess my hair. That being said, you could 100% go ahead and style your hair, do the whole shebang, leave-in conditioner, curl cream, gel, mousse, whatever your favorite stylers are, scrunch them into your hair, plop and diffuse. And I will say some of my best ever hair days have been when I have clarified, deep conditioned and gone ahead and styled afterwards. As always, I sure hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.